comments about uh, your quarterfinal series against RPI. Well, obviously, it's, it's our big rival here, so I'm sure the guys are pretty excited. I don't, I don't know if we need any extra motivational tactics here this week because uh, we all know the magnitude of this game. I know uh, the coaching staff's excited. I know the players will be as well. Rick, uh, what did you guys learn from last year's uh, loss to Colgate in the quarterfinals, and how do you apply that to this year, trying to make sure you don't have the same situation happen again? Uh, first of all, we really don't we have brought, brought it up. Uh, we tried a few different things uh, from last year. We tried to learn from our mistakes and just move it forward. What have you done differently as opposed to last year? Uh, I think we focused a little more uh, on the academic side. Uh, took care of that last week, so the guys had, uh, every time they walked through those doors, free mind to play hockey and focused on hockey and that's where we want their minds from uh, this week and Friday night. What Amy Cleary does is a big accomplishment. Do you think last year being the first time might have carried over a little too much and now this year you've done it and now you have it done a second second time and focus more on the playoffs instead of just that accomplishment? That's a possibility. You know, I guess we're not going to know until the season series is over. But uh, you know, The guys have been here before and I think uh, Matt, Matt probably said it best. You know, after we won it, um, you know, we've been here before. So let's put it in perspective and move on. Rick, in three games you've played in this year, you've been dominant or barely dominant one of them. Uh, obviously, the power play, your power play was a big factor. What else, uh, what, what were the other ingredients in uh, winning all three of those games fairly handily? I thought we were just kind of, you know, probably geared up for those games. The guys were pretty focused and ready to go. I think that discipline helped us out a lot. And, on the head, power plays helped. Uh, I think they gave us a couple five on threes early, so uh, these and guys right here cashed in, and we were on a, you know, kind of on a roll from there, so it kind of helped us out a lot. But uh, you know, if you had to ask me, I think our power play really helped us out. RPI's power play has vastly improved uh, since the last saw them. What's going to be the key to you know, keeping them down? Well, you are right, because five of their 12 goals this past season were on the power play, so we have to sure that we stay on the rocks and more importantly our PK is right on. So you know, if you ask me, you know, looking at this series, that's you know, special teams is always gonna be a key. Nolan, uh, from the player perspective, what did you guys learn from last year? I mean that's the same question as Rick, but what did you guys learn from last year's you know, losing that cold quarterfinal series cold game? How do you apply that to this year? Uh, I don't like coach said we haven't really talked about it. Uh, we're not last year's team. We're a year older. Um, you're more mature. And um, yeah, uh, we took care of back down last week. Um, I think a lot of the senior guys, especially right now, Jesus Skinner, done a week early. Uh, definitely is going to help. And um, but we're just worried about Friday night. Was that a distraction last year, academics? Uh, I don't think so. I don't want to say put put any excuses on it. Um, but definitely taking care of it early this year is going to help. No, I won't bring it up again, but losing that series last year, does that, when you think about it, does it strengthen your resolve for this week? Um, I don't really think so. I mean, it's going to be in the back of your mind. It's, it's last year, though, we're not going to worry about it. Um, our task is Friday, and it's the only game we're work, uh, worried about right now. Um, it starts today in practice, so we just got to have a good practice today and keep it going. No, I haven't been through this same as last year. You know, do you sense that it's Difference among the team this year, this time, in the week leading up to the game, you might have uh, thought about last year or Kobe? Uh, I can't really answer that because I'm not really thinking about last year at all. I haven't really, you know, I reflected about it when it happened, after it happened, and uh, we haven't really looked back since. So, so. And how much confidence do you guys have going into the series of RPI, knowing that you, you know, beat them three times already this season? Uh, well, we haven't played them a long time. We know they've. Uh, since last time we played them, we know they're a great team, and uh, obviously this league has a history of uh, low seeds making runs in the playoffs. We uh, we know we're going to be worried about what we're doing though. Um, if Newton comes to play our hockey, I think we have a pretty good shot. Is there enormous pressure on this team, or is this team relaxed going into the series? I think we're pretty relaxed. I mean, uh, you love playing a rival, and you love playing playoffs. So I know everyone's excited to get to Friday night, and we just can't wait for this to start. Troy. Talk about getting ready to make your first playoff start. How excited are you? And where are you at today? And, and thinking about Friday night. And the, just same approach as always. Uh, just treating it like another game because uh, I come into it, you know, my whole.
things, never getting too high, never getting too low. So um, just going to go in there like it's any other game and and uh, focus on the puck and uh, find ways to stop it. And that's pretty much just all it is. It's all about coming in. So uh, that's all I have to do. And hopefully I can do that. Yeah, how do you think the week off was for you, for you personally? You know, the ankle situation. There's no ankle situation. <laughs> Lower body situation. Uh, it's it's fine now. Um, I'm just uh, feel feel 100 percent gonna go out there and um, you know battle. That's it. You are 100 percent. Yeah. Any more questions, guys? No, no. Does you have a lot more experience in the quarterfinals than they do? Can, can that be an advantage? Um, it can. It, it might be why, uh, as Matt said, we are a pretty relaxed group right now. Um, I think in the past two years, three years, we've grown a lot as a program. Um, and I definitely think uh, experience uh, plays into our hands. And uh, moving forward, it could benefit us. How do you avoid not getting overconfident knowing that you can't you know, be in this team 15 or four in three games this year? Uh, it's a whole new season. You know, and like Matt said, we played the, that team quite a while ago. Uh, we're approaching it. We approach every weekend like a playoff series, and we throw the season. So <coughs> Friday night we're going to take the same approach, one shift at a time, and go from there. Rick, can you talk about the comparison between a team like you with a bye week and a team like RPI that is able to continue their momentum last week that they had to finish the year? How does that play into this week? Do you think? Just trying to get our guys in a battle game ready shape. Practice for that. Um, I think they started that. We started it Saturday a bit. Um, but you know, I have to say that's the one advantage that RPI has right now. And they played basically four games last weekend. So it kind of gives them a little edge as far as game tested ready. But you know, I think once you drop the puck, hockey's hockey, you play and see what happens. How important is it, how important is it to get that first game, game victory? I don't think you can put so much pressure on it that. All lead all. You, uh, you know, we all know from history. So it's just, you know, it's, we'd like to get it, but in the same token, we're not going to put the, the weight of the world on our shoulders for it. All set, guys? All right, we'll do one on ones if. Uh,